Be careful what you think. That's above all, you guard and protect your heart. Because your thoughts run your life. Your thoughts run your life.
it is now time for the word. Sit back, relax, and let's hear what God has to say. First Thessalonians 5 verse 23. And the very God. Amen. The expand Bible read, Now the God himself, the God of peace, make you holy in every way, which is sanctify you completely, true and true. May your whole self, which is spirit, soul, and body, be kept faultless or blameless when our Lord Jesus Christ comes. Amen? Amen? I know we're saying this over and over and over, but, but we're saying this so you can get it. Amen. Amen. We say it just so you could get it. Amen. You are a tree pod being. Amen. Amen. The real you are spirit. You have a soul, which is your mind, your will, your emotion. Amen. And we live in this body, which is our soul. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to talk about the soul. What about this soul? Amen. Amen. <laughs> You know, if you keep saying it, you keep saying it until you get it. Amen. Now listen here. I was, I was kind of embarrassed. Pastor Randy being embarrassed now. I was embarrassed that, you all know what First John, not First John, John 1 say? Anybody know what John 1 say? In the beginning, it was the word. Right. Now, I heard that so much times, right? If you was to ask me if Jesus is God, I would say yeah. I would. Amen. But I only was saying yeah because that's what I hear people say. Hey, you know? Hey, Until I had to read it for myself. <laughs> then I saw it. Yes. You know, and like I said, I was so embarrassed. Um, but um, <laughs> but all these people say, you don't need to be embarrassed. Pastors never don't know these stuff. You got whole religions, but don't know this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. voice one, and what does voice 14 say? And the word flesh. became flesh. That's when I saw it. And it dwelled among us, and I said, oh, that's it right there. So now I don't have to say yeah to something now. <laughs> now I see it for myself. And sometimes when you read this, and when me and Bishop giving these examples, you could do it for yourself because my teaching alone wouldn't help. You have to see it for yourself. Yeah, amen. Amen? amen. Now, let's see what James have to say about this soul. James 1. Pastor Randy, but you keep going over it. I know why you're going over it. I thought I'd know John 1 too. <laughs> Reading this out of the New Living Translation. It says, Dear friends, this voice 19. It says, Dear friends, be quick to listen. Slow to speak, slow to get angry. I say, I know that in itself is awesome. Listen to this. Dear friends, be quick to what? Listen. Slow to speak, slow to get angry. Your anger can never make things right. That's something I, my anger can never make things right. It's a, you know, make things right in God's sight. So get rid of all filth and evil in your life and humbly accept the message God has planted in your heart for it is strong enough to save your soul. First and foremost, your soul needs saving. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is saved. This needs saving. Yes. Amen? Amen? Amen. This is a process. Yes, sir. And I'm going to show you all the filth what we have in our soul. Some of you, some of the filth what you all have in your soul right now. Go ahead and preach. <laughs> preach. We can go back to James. Teach. Let's see what. Let's see what Paul say. Let's go to Romans 1. Romans 1, 21, it said, 
this King James, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination as your soul. They became vain in their imagination and their foolish heart was darkened. Now watch him. New Living Translation again. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God, is, what God was like. As a result, their mind became dark. This is dark. And confused. You know, sometimes I wonder, see, why would men go with their children, their daughters and stuff? You know, why would they do that? Right here, because they mind dark and they confuse. Why would another male, if you read that same, read that whole scripture, would go with another male? Or a female would go with another female? Why? Because their mind or their soul is dark and it is confused. Amen? Another translation say they had vain imagination and their foolish heart was blind. Powerful. Now let's see what Jesus have to say. James said this. The soul needs saving, eh? Paul said their mind is dark and it is confused. Now let's see what Jesus had to say. I love Jesus here. Mark 7. And what I love Jesus, Jesus, my Jesus battled there. Amen. He so battled there. What happened was um, the disciples, them, they didn't wash their hands when they eat. So, you, you know, religion could make a doctrine out of anything. So Jesus was telling them here, say, um, listen here. Better we wash on it. This don't what the father man. It ain't what goes in with the father man. It's what comes out. So we can see what comes out. So verse 20, verse 23. And he said, that which cometh out of a man, that defiles a man. For from within, out of the heart of man proceed, watch him, evil thoughts, adultery, fornication, murder, theft covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, and all these evil things that come from within. That's what defiles a man. You see that? Not washing out or wherever I eat pork or conch or whatever. Amen? Amen. <laughs> now over to the x band Bible. Amen? I don't know why they laugh at nature. Yeah, yeah. Poor heat in there. Jesus should have said that, eh? What the files of mine is pork <laughs> and conk. <laughs> Y'all be him now. Okay. Now, what else in this soul? Y'all don't mind if I rub this out, right? Your spirit, that's it. Amen? Y'all just got some stuff in that soul. Now, I just won't give it layman's turn. Amen? Okay. He said, evil talk. Evil thoughts. He said here, sexual sin. Adultery, fornication, and so forth. Amen? Stealing. Is that a sin? Yeah, man, y'all. S-T-E-A-L-I-N-G. When you're carrying um, those towels, you know, what's supposed to be for the pool. You know, be Christian, yeah, you know what, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you all know what towel that is. Yeah, them, yeah. Well, you're stealing! Amen. You know what, too? You know what we do, too? The furniture, yes, ma'am. Yeah, the furniture, too. You know, the school furniture. Yeah, yeah, that, I see those chairs in people's yard. Yeah. And they supposed to be in the school, yeah, the furniture. Yeah. School chairs, not the towels now. I'm talking about the furniture now. 
Uh huh. Yeah, the school chairs. Yeah, you know, they're the people yard. And I don't mean nothing by it. If you steal it, stop it. That's it. Amen? Amen. Because I don't go Amen. by yours and I see it and then I start smiling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, right, right. Amen. Stealing, then murder. <laughs> That is in the soul. You got adultery. You got greed. Who know about greed? Yes, sir. Lying. Oh, church folks. Lying, lying, lying. Lying, lying. Bless. Jealousy. Speaking about speaking evil. That is called slandering. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So slander. Oh, this one. God had to deal with me with this one. Cry. You all know what pride is, right? Yeah, pride is. Picture you in every part of the house. Just a picture of you in every part of the house. In the bathroom, in the kitchen. Probably got one right there on your outside. Right there by your cabana, by your grill, all of the pride. You got foolishness. Foolish living, sorry. Now what that is. You know how, how we said we want to become millionaires and all of that? We want to have four wives, probably ten cars. Now, we can go over this again. According to James, James say our soul needs saving. Amen. Yeah. According to Paul, he said our mind is dark and it is confused. And Jesus come with a, a bunch of stuff here. So evil thoughts are in there. Sexual sin is in there. Stealing, murder, adultery, greed, lying, lust, jealousy, slander, pride, foolish living. Jesus said this. This is in our mind. Amen? Now, you can get so embarrassed. I, I, but I love the word. It is embarrassing. you. Bishop, I, I, you know you just thought you know things. You know, you hear people talk and all of a sudden you know what I tell. You see this, you read this for yourself. Amen. And when you read it, you're like, say, oh God, I got these stuff inside me. Go ahead. I got them inside me. I, I know it's easy for, uh, hey, you all may have it, but you all lean up here. So I say, now here it is. I got these stuff inside me. So, but what I need to do, what I need to do to get all of these stuff out of me, Before I go there. Before I go there. Amen. Turn with me to Proverbs 4. Oh, all of this stuff. And more, you know. I just use this term because, just layman terms, I just wanted to use that. Proverbs 4.23. Watch your nations. Read, since you all have the King James, read what that say. Voice 23. You know what the Expound Bible said? You hear what the Expound Bible said? Yes. The Expound Bible said, be careful what you think. Above all that, God and protect your heart because your thoughts run your life. Wow. Wow. Why would a man do what he do? Why would a woman do what she do? Because this is what's running their life. That's what's running their life. All of this stuff right here. All of this stuff right here. Now watch out. There, yeah, that's Proverbs 4. We can go back to Proverbs 4, but I just want, I will say it again. Be careful what you think. That's above all you guard and protect your heart. Because your thoughts run your life. Your thoughts run your life. 
Now, I came across a scripture. I got blessed with this Bible. New Testament, four translation. I can show this off. I can show this off. Yeah, and um, I saw something inside it. And turn with me to Mark 11. Bless my socks off. Yes, bless my socks off. I felt like, and I got this on a Wednesday night, and I started reading this Thursday, and listen here, I was in the mall. Israel, I was in the mall. Actually, me and you was in the mall. And when I came across the scripture, I feel like I should have had some running spell, and I wanted to run in the mall. When I saw this, when I saw this, this blew my mind. This blew my mind. Not a word of lie. And I so happy it's like some stuff get downloaded inside me. And it can get downloaded in your. But it's just how y'all accept it. Amen. Now, and Brother Clark started to talk about it too this morning. Yes, y'all in Mark 11? Yes, sir. Let's start with verse 12. And let me share this with you. Before I finish it, let me share this with you. All young people, listen carefully now. Every young person, or oh, if she could hear. But anyway, if we can have anything we want in the world, if we could tell our own fortune, or if we could call our own shots, if you get a hold of this, you win. Amen? Amen. Teach. Voice 12. Reading this from the back translation, because the back is what changed my life. It says here, the next day, when Jesus left Bethany, Jesus was hungry. In a distance, he saw a fig tree with leaves. And he went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves because it wasn't the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, well, who we said this to now? The to the tree, right? And his disciple heard it, so he's talking to this tree. He said, watch out, may nobody ever eat fruit from you again. Amen. Amen? Nobody is going to eat fruit from you again. And the disciple heard it, right? So imagine Jesus now. saw the tree from a distance. They say he was hungry. Yeah. And as they was passing, he, he came to the tree, and then he found out no fruit. Pastor Elnor, it is said that he said to the tree, right? That's right. No man eat fruit from you ever. I'm going to say it right. No man may nobody eat fruit from you again. You know why Jesus said that? You know why Jesus said that? You can't wait to hear this say. Let me tell you how bad Jesus is over there. Hey. He spoke to that tree. Yes, sir. Now Jesus had an opportunity to speak to the mountain, right? But he didn't need to speak to the mountain. He needed to speak to the tree. Because Jesus was hungry. Let me tell you how bad Jesus is. Jesus could have as well said to the tree, fruit come. And what would happen? Fruit would have come, right? Now, since there wasn't no fruit, and if he had to call fruit to that tree, guess what was going to happen? 3,000 years later. Anybody know? 3,000 years later, what you think would have happened? This tree still would have been here. This tree would have been blocking, eh? if you have the bill, they couldn't cut this tree down. Why? Because Jesus told fruit to come on this tree. So now, he had to use the tree because tree produce. And he had to say, no man eat from you again. Because if he did say, fruit come, 
this fruit will be in here forever. You want to see it? The fruit would have been here forever. Why? Because Jesus said it. If Jesus, let's um, use the wine for an example. Wine is something what you drink, right? Not you drink, but wine is what you drink, right? <laughs> <laughs> then Jesus says, then Jesus, when he turned the water into wine, right? They said that wasn't the best wine they ever drank, right? Why? And it's the person who made the wine. Jesus made that wine. So that had to be in good. If he was to speak to that tree and say, fruit be on you, this, this tree cannot live no more. Because fruit would have been on this tree forever. So now, when they do the landscape and all that, the, the fellas then need to cut the tree down, but they can't cut the tree down because that's the tree where Jesus spoke to. Yeah. Ain't no um, chainsaw, no whatever saw, no hand saw can take this tree down because Jesus spoke to that tree. That's why he said, no man eat from this tree again. So now that can, that can afford to get cut down now because there's no fruit can be on that tree. But he, now he used the example he said. Now go with me. Verse 20. And when he walked by early in the morning, they saw the fig tree with it from the root. Peter remembered and said to him, Master, look at the fig tree. You curse. It is dried up. So now another thing could be in our mind. Curse. So you are, see? He said, you curse, it is dried up. This verse 22. Now listen to what Jesus said, believe in God. Jesus answered and said unto them, I'll tell you the truth. He only got truth inside of me. Amen. If you will say to this mount, yes. talking to the mountain now, this Mount Olive now, what he said, be lifted up and be thrown into the sea, which will be the, that's the dead sea, eh? And have no doubt that in us right too. That in us too. D-O-U-B-T-H, right? That in us too. He said, but don't doubt. That's where the majority is. That's where the victory is right here, you know. Amen. The majority of us doubt. Hey. And this was the, this will change my life right here. Right here. Do not doubt in your mind. See, when I saw the word heart, I always thought it was heart. But when Beck put it this way, and he said, mine, that's it right there. I said, oh, Beck, yeah, so I wanted to run. See, see, it's because I see it now. <laughs> All our problem yeah. is right here. Yeah. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Right, Jason, oh, God. So listen here, some of y'all got dreams. Some of y'all got goals. Right. So when you need to plan that now, well, you better plant that in your soul, on your mind. Yeah. You plant your goal there, so all of these stuff could get rubbed out now. Because yeah, I don't have these stuff. That's right. Take it I don't have these. Amen. And guess what, even with the doubt, what we can put there? We have to put faith in there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Faith in God. That's it. Amen. In God. Faith in what? In his word. Yes. That's what you do. So these stuff right here, oh, this is all me, I don't have these things. Thank you. Yeah. Get rid of it. And when he said that, he said, oh, I got it now. Amen. It couldn't be in your hard body because your heart had pumped blood. No. No, ain't no doubt in there, ain't no faith in there. No. No. Right. That we I'll still be serving God with my body. No. But that is it right here. In that soul right there. That's where faith is because the doubt was there. So he, here, here is he telling his disciple now. He said, listen here. The tree, small stuff. Yeah. We're getting mountains here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're getting. Yeah. Yeah. He said, now you can speak to this mountain. Yeah. And you say, you lift up, you lift up, you lift up. Watch it now. He said, don't doubt. Don't doubt. Where that doubt is, it's right here. Yeah. So all of those goals and dream and aspiration, all of these stuff, yeah. you put it there. And then you're speaking. Yes. Because guess what? It's all there, you know. Listen here. Yeah. I've been on something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, when I read that Thursday, it's like I didn't know nothing. 
Pastor Eleanor? Everything that I get downloaded now. Oh, I say, oh God. I tell you, what a light came on. I say, oh, this is right here. This is right here. We call shots, man. We can call the shots. They shouldn't, they shouldn't put that in the Bible. Now I know. Now he's the most dangerous man in the Bahamas. He's the most dangerous man in the Bahamas. That's what they do. They say, uh-huh. So now I can have faith. I don't need to doubt now. I can have faith. So now here it is now. All my goals are now. They're gathering together now. They're gathering together. And you know what? You just don't, just don't keep it here. You put that on a page. You write that down. And you look at that. No. No. Because guess what? Those stuff, what are you about? They still could come back. Yeah. The doubt could yeah. still come back. Yeah. When, when, when situation come at you and all of that. Oh. My mother say I will never be nobody. My daddy say I'll never be. And that's the curse right there. And you break calling yourself down. No. Hey, hey, hey. No. Hey. You put that in. Boy, listen here. Boy. You. I'm going to be getting blessed like me. But listen here. Hallelujah. I tell you, I, has, I wanted to run. I wanted um, Israel to see me run. But I said, ah, let me wait. 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 <laughs> Mountains. He say what you could do to the mountain. What you can do to, now, now guess what? That ain't just it now. Yeah. Because, Pastor Ron, do you make this sound so easy? It is! But it still can take work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It can take work. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. It can take work. Yeah. Yeah. So what you need to do? Let's go back to James. James 121 has said, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the what? Engrafted word. In other words, you humble yourself. Yeah. That's what you do. And don't listen to the naysayers and so forth. They don't know nothing. If a man can tell you he want four wives or two wives and all of that, man, that man don't know nothing. No, he, he think two wives can satisfy him, Pastor Gulfrey. Yeah. My one wife is too much. <laughs> My one wife is too much. Yeah, By the way, who I'm celebrating 26 years. Hey, hey I remember that. Hey. Listen, oh, but, uh, <laughs> well, go on with her, buddy. That's why she with me. <laughs> but you receive the word with meekness. Now, watch out. This is what we don't want. We want YouTube and Facebook and WhatsApp to tell us if I did not see that in John. If I did not see that in John, the word became flesh, I still would have believed a man, although it was true, but I never saw it until I read it. The word became flesh. And I heard that a lot of times. But boy, when you see it, that make a difference, man. Hallelujah. And I didn't feel so embarrassed, but then the Holy Spirit said, you ain't got nothing to be embarrassed about. You got dark people out there who don't know this neither. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Romans 12. Listen what it say. New Living Translation, voice 2. It say, don't copy the behavior and the custom of this world. But that's what we do when they're the people who give us I, 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 identity. But it's a don't copy yes. the behavior and the custom of this world. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Preach, uh, preacher. You think. Preach. Think different. You have to think different. Amen. This is it. So it's all about the soul. Yeah. My spirit saved. Now, if I could get this line up, then body can line up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. You get this. So I'm not supposed to copy the, this world. And, and, and you know what we think like? Ah, oh, this being over how much ever? Thousands of years ago. So this don't go for us. But I can't copy the world even, so. 
Because God already showed me a way. He tell me how to, he will transform me to a new person by changing the way I think. And then you will learn to know God's will. Yeah. His will, eh? Yeah. For you. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good and pleasing and perfect. Preach, preacher. Perfect sound like Dr. Hallelujah. James, eh? Hallelujah. It said, it talk about a mirror. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And then it talk about the perfect law. Amen? That's the word. Just need to get in there. Yes, yes. In there. And when they get in there, guess what? We start change. Listen. I probably heard Earl Nightingale, I wouldn't lie, over a hundred times. Right. Now, let's say a hundred, ninety-nine to a hundred times, he just started making sense now. The message just to sound good. Yeah. But he said what was the strangest secret. And the strangest secret is how we think. Yeah. That was the strangest secret. Yeah. I said, oh, what do you mean I didn't know that? <laughs> you mean I listen to you over and over and over and I just find out the way we think. Yeah. And man would think, what's in the negative? I feel like murdering a brother. Uh-huh. And I will murder you good to him. Murder you where, where you have him. The, the anklet on. Yeah, I only killing people with anklet. I, I, that's how I'm a think. But I don't have to think like that. No. I have to love people. Amen. Oh, we don't like the yellow. Amen. I know why we don't like the yellow because this poison make me mad. Mm -hmm. And the only way I can feel better if um, they feel like me. <laughs> so what you can get out of it? Someone tell me, um, last week, tell me, if this person mess with them, what they will do? Uh, There's a woman talking now. Uh, this other woman, I say, no, you don't have to do that. Yeah. They call me Rev. Rev, you don't understand. I say, but no, you don't have to do that. What to do then? It's like, you know what option? Let's think you. <laughs> Why don't go to your superior? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't get, um, 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 if you don't get satisfaction, then go to the police. And press charges or whatever, yeah. and file a complaint. Yes. But your mind just can't tell you what I'll do to face it. I can tell me, I say, I can get in between your, she say, don't get in between us. I say, where does anger come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All that in your soul. Mm -hmm. And then when I, when, when I tell her, you can do all of this, right? Then the light come on. Rev, that's why I like talking to you. So oh, thank God. <laughs> well, I'm talking to you. Oh, say, oh, thank God. Because why does inside us? Yes, go ahead. We like to interpret people. We like to, you know. Pastor Randy and hear me. I guess, um, I wonder what his problem is. I wonder what your problem is. Then you hear me. <laughs> Romans 12. Again, I say, don't copy the behavior and the custom of this world. But let God transform you into a new person. That's all what some of us need. Yes, sir. To become that new person. Think from our spirit now. My spirit is pure and it's kind and it's loving and all of this and all of Let's think like that. Amen? Amen. 2 Timothy 3.16. Y'all know I love this scripture. Yes, sir. This scripture changed my life. But the clock, the scripture changed my life. Oh, glory. Thank God for that. Just the how now. We find out that. We, we try to get rid of this darkness and this confusion and all of that. So we can put faith in there. Not just faith. Faith in God, right? All of that filthiness, we just rubbing all of that out. Amen? Because we're looking into that mirror. That's what James call it. And he call it a perfect law. That's the perfect law of liberty. Perfect law. So that'll set you free. So if I'm not set free, what it is? I probably ain't in that law. Yeah. I probably ain't in that mirror. Hey, hey. And freedom right here, you know, freedom is as close as you can breathe. Amen? Amen. I'm not going to give that SpongeBob example. No. Amen. Amen. SpongeBob need to get saved. But watch it. 2 Timothy 3.16 and 7. This is a message translation. It says, every part of scripture is God breathed. I like that. In the King James, it says it's inspiration, eh? So inspiration, meaning it is God's breath. And it is useful one way or the other for showing us truth. 
What, what, what God word is good for? Showing us truth. And be like truth. Be true to me. We don't want that trust be broken. He just be true to me. Amen? Amen. And say, y'all, uh, for showing us truth, for exposing our rebellion. Oh, and Christian people, we're the most rebellious bunch of people. <laughs> we rebellious part. <laughs> Sometimes I get rebellious. And then my wife have to tell me, man of God, that you got a point, you know? And then I got to shape it up. Amen? Yeah, we, we, we know how to be rebellious. Not only that, I correct mistakes. Yes, sir. That's powerful. You have made some mistakes in your life. The word of God could fix that. Amen. Preach. The word of God could fix that. Preach. Amen. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Not just that now. It trained us. It trained us to live God's way. Yes, sir. That's what the Bible do. The Bible train. Amen? Yes, sir. And some of us need training, eh? Amen. He's training me. Amen. Every day. Through the word, we are put together, shaped for the task God has for us. Just the how now. How to get all of this, all this up. All this up. This dark and confused soul would be out. James tells us that the word of God is a mirror and it is a per and it's the perfect law. It tells us in 2 Timothy 3, it tells us what the word is now. I'm a detailed person. I just love to be detailed. I, I just love that. I want no point one, two, three, and four. Even if it is point one hundred. I want no. Amen? Because yes, I want to know what I'm working with. And the best scripture for that. My scripture again. I don't know why they didn't call this Randy 4, 20, 23. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't call it that. But Proverbs 4. Amen. <laughs> Your dream. Shekinah, whatever your dream is, Shekinah. Whatever on the inside, what you need, Shekinah. What you need. It's this right here. This is how you get any, anything from God. Well, listen here. Mark 11 changed my life. Yes, sir. Mark 11 changed my life. After I found out that heart was your mind. Now I know what I need to do. I need to download good stuff in this. Amen. Good stuff. I won't be the best athlete. I, I, I don't know. This is something physical, but I won't be the best athlete. Now I need to learn some stuff. I need to eat properly. Yeah. Amen? Eat yeah. properly. That's right. You know? Be the best basketball player. I don't want to get past Jordan or Kobe or whatever. But there's some stuff you have to do. That's right. Amen? Yeah. Practice you have to do. Oh, yeah. Amen? Yes, sir. Now, what I want to do. Proverbs 4. Yes, sir. Listen what it says. Order the message. It says, Dear friends, listen well to my words. Tone your ears to my voice. Keep my message in plain view at all times. You know, every time I think about message in plain view, you know what I think of? Oh. All those stuff with you up in your house. And, uh, you know, with the scriptures and all that. I, I always think of you when I read this, you know? Hey, go ahead. It's in here, concentrate. What concentrate mean it? Focus. Focus. Learn it by heart. That's Eleanor. This is what it say. And those who discover the word now. If you do all of these stuff, he said, you will live. Not just live now. You can really live. Oh, man, you can really live. Some of you all really want to live. Don't just live, man. You don't want to really live? Do these stuff. Do these stuff. Oh, that's good. So we don't finish with the soul, right? Finish. Give some space. Like I say, I'm a detailed person, man. I need point. I, I, I need that. I will hear you make sense. When you make sense now, it's something I could work with. And boy, ain't nothing like when you know. When you know, you work with it. Amen? Yes, yes, sir. Then you work with it. Number one, what you can do now, you, we, we, we need this dark and confused soul now. We need all this to go. So, so what I need to do, 
listen well. <laughs> listen well to my words. Number two, tune your ass to my voice. Listen to this one, three. Key. Say key. Key. My message. In plain view. P-L-A-I-N. E-I-E-W. In plain view at all times. Listen to this one, number four. Concentrate. C O N C E N T R E T E. Number five. Learn it by heart. Amen. And listen here. We can do this, you know. We can do this. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Learn by heart. I used to do, um, um, when I came out of school, I used to do, um, um, what was it, what was it? I don't think I was married yet. I went to school, somewhere in Fox Hill or Bernard Road. I'll never forget it. And Mr. Bain, I'll never forget that teacher, Mr. Bain. And um, on Fridays is English. I was doing all the subjects. Oh, but I learned from there afterwards, don't do all the subjects. But anyway, in the English class, that, that's, that Friday, <laughs> this one was listening comprehension. So you have to listen to what on the CD, they play it, and then you'll have to write in your answer. Now, now let's rewind forward. I don't like rap. Actually, I love reggae. So, you know, you go through your little phases and stuff and all that. So in, 90, in the 90s, I started to listen to rap. I grew up off of reggae, but I didn't like rap. And I didn't like this, um, this rapper with their Biggie Small. I, I didn't like Biggie Small now. Remember now, we're talking about learning it by heart, right? Not the song now. I, we're trying to make a point here. <laughs> and listening comprehension Apparently, they were celebrating his anniversary, Biggie Small anniversary. So, the bar next door to the school just was playing Biggie Small. Uh, so, and I was trying to figure out, listen here, I stopped listening to this fellow over 18 years. But it was amazing that while the class was quiet, we didn't listen to our CD. Now we have the right answer. And I believe that, that night, nobody get nothing right. Because all oh, what I do, and you can hear people foot tapping, penciling on the deck. I mean, I say, but why are they playing all these good songs while they couldn't think about it? But somebody was playing all these good songs and like, and like, and you know, everyone's tapping, I guess, but that teacher said, oh, I love this teacher. I wish I could carry her home with me. You know those old teachers, them, they just know things, yeah. you know? That woman said, I heard what you all heard, you know. But she said she did not concentrate on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. She concentrate on what she was teaching. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's the best why you couldn't tell us that before before <laughs> the music started playing. You know what I'm saying? I knew that by heart. Those songs, them what I heard long, long time. And I just needed a fella to start spitting out his rap. And the brothers federally rapping all of a sudden now, I didn't get nothing right. <laughs> I forget what we even was talking about. And you ask me now what that song is, I still can sing that song. Yeah. Because we concentrate on the wrong thing. Go ahead, Go ahead. We, that's what we do. We concentrate just on the wrong things. We need to be focused and that's all what it is. You know, 
Some of us are focused, watch out. But the same dark and confused mind would we have, some of us, watching our Pastor Eleanor, some of us, just a raw way of leaving our folks. Oh, oh Pastor Randy again in my house, I don't know. That's God. We are raw away just from leaving church. I'm tired of this church. I'm tired of this church. Let Bishop or Randy, Pastor Randy said the wrong thing. I go on. Hey, I always go in. That's, that's just your filthy mind. That's all what that is. Yeah. That could get fixed. Yeah. We don't want it fixed. So what we do is we freak ourselves out. That's all what we do. Yeah, that's all what we do. We get in this word right now. We could renew our minds. Yeah. Yeah, but we no, no, I want to row. I feel like row, but I feel like row. And you know what we do? We, 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 we want to become the victim. Yeah. Yeah. God already, if Jesus tell me I could move a whole mountain, yeah. something was still standing now up to this day. Yes. He tell me I could do that. You telling me now, I could just cough out and say, anybody ready to leave my wife? Well, I ain't leaving now because it's our anniversary. I hope she gets some money because, and then afterwards I'll probably leave her afterwards. But listen here, that's how we think. Yeah, that's how we think. Yeah, but listen here, we can move this mountain. It's just in our mind. And that's what it is. I find what the strangest secret was, is, yeah, it's the way how I think. Yes, sir. So stop thinking and get to stop thinking filthiness and just start doing this. Yeah. Listen to God word. Yeah. Tune your ears his voice. Okay. Keep his message in plain view yeah. at all times. Time. That's what we don't do. I say, man, listen here. I might get robbed from the wife, but I think I can start putting some um, some scriptures them up. <laughs> yeah. I think I can start doing that. Amen? But anyway, concentrate. concentrate. And learn it by heart. Yes, sir. That's how you get all of the junk out. Simple. Now, it might be easy. But when you start, let's start now. Because guess what? Literally speaking, we cannot move a mountain with our voice. If we have to, be, if we have to do it physically, we can have to dig. Or something gotta push it down and that would take forever. But it still could be moved. Yeah. And he tell us how to move it with our voice. But first we gotta have the, in our mind. In our mind. Let's put faith in there. Put faith in our mind. And we could do anything. Joshua, we could do anything. Amen. We just need to download this. And put this in there. And what Jesus say? That's all. And then you know what? When you done grab a hold of a voice, you know what you say? Now I'm going to speak. That's right. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's because right. it here on this page, if this Bible tells me this is God breathed, I know we can't understand it with our physical mind. How does it get God breathed in this? As far as I'm concerned, this Beck and William translation and um, the King James Version, oh, this ain't alive. This, this, this ain't alive. Uh, no, it's the word what is in it. It is inspired. So this God breath breathing inside of us to yeah. give us life. Oh yeah. To give us life. Yeah. And light. And that's what it does. So if we have darkness in us, eh? When you put light in there, ooh. Yeah. The darkness yeah. can't even hide yeah. from the light. That's yeah. what you do. And 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 um, and, and children who still go into school and all of that. That's how you get them. You could be on top of your listen here. That's the Randy man only have a 12th grade education. Amen? Amen. Yeah, I say it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for me, but listen here. Sorry. I've been to... It's BTVI now, but they used to name industrial training. Pastor Erica, I know what it means. This ain't the way you study, but I know what it means. I know how to cram stuff down. And listen here, I know what it means to get a 90 and 100% on an on exam. Now ask me if I could fix the product, no. But I know, um, what you call written word again? I know the accident, huh? Theory. Right, I know the theory. I know the theory of a, of a thing. Yes. I just didn't know how to operate it now. Because I think at that time it was fixing um, cash registers. Right, 
but I could have got a hundred. On the theory, anyone in here could get a hundred. Yes, sir. Anyone could get it a hundred. Amen. Uh huh. This thing easy, man. Yeah. This thing easy. Amen. This is easy, man. Yes, sir. Preach. But we can have to warn that, man. Yes, sir. Go ahead. We can have to warn that. This thing easy, man. This is easy. I heard a message, and that message was over, that was what, like 1950. And a gentleman, he talked about living in this time. And he said how people will waste time watching television and driving car. You know? He said they'll, they'll drive around the car and so forth and forget about how much time is in a day where they could study a course and they could pass. But no, especially us who go to school. No, we don't want to do it now. I don't know the school. What I need to go read a book for. What I need to read a Bible for. But that's how you can live, though. And not just live, really live. Really live. Really live. Amen. Wow. The B. Especially this. This right there. That's it right there. It appoints him right there to get to this place. And to get this out of the way. Yeah. And to get that darkness and that confusion out. Yeah. Get it out. I tell you, when the, when the Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm sure the, um, I tell you, with, um, with the wives, the other men, them wanted um, two, two women and all of that. And the Holy Spirit showed me all of that. I said, all of us, we all of us have a philosophy. So yeah, go on then. And then I start praying and stuff again and reading again and so forth. And I said, well, I ain't getting no more revelation. I need another revelation. <laughs> I ain't getting no more. You know? you know, sometimes you have this little test with God, you know, like, why are you waking up early? I sure he's praying the right prayer. He won't give me nothing else. Unless he just blow my mind. He blow my mind. He give me a revelation uh, with the same soul. With the soul. And victory right in there. Right in there. Right in there. Just some stuff you need to do, some stuff you need to shift around. You know how women are shift. Move this and move that and so forth and do this and do that. Um, you know, I ain't talking to the wife yet, but you know I got to talk about something. Yesterday. Yesterday. I don't like to go. I honestly don't like to go, especially if I have to teach. Boy, but she's still finding a way to get me out of the house. Still find a way so I could work with her, you know? And listen, yeah. They just be nobody's be doing things wrong, you know. Watch it, uh. But sometimes you don't know and tell. She started to clean the fine step, right? And... He said, Randy, bring um, a kind of fun, you know? And guess what I do? I bring the whole fun and put it in the bathroom. <laughs> There's a, you can take the stuff off. and like, oh, I forget about that. <laughs> but now she want me to work. I put it in there, so she's going to take it off. I didn't want to work. <laughs> now I get out of here, you know, afterwards, and all of the, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, but I love my wife. Oh, and some people want to. <laughs> and they want more. <laughs> you want more? One wife might tell you, you need to clean this, and the other wife is like, you better clean the floor, and the next one is like, fix this. I mean, you know what you need all these wives for? You better stick with what? <laughs> but this is right here, Trey. Amen, God is good. Right here. Listen well to my words. It got to be something about listening. Yeah. Yes, Amen? Yeah. And, and, and my book's still there. Hey, 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 I have to download that now. But the listening side of hearing. Listening side of hearing. Just need to listen well. And then you tone your ears. What God is saying? What he's saying to me? And like I say, and some stuff he tells me, I don't want to share it now. But boy, listen here. I am so, Margo, Mr. Pastor Margo, I am so happy. I tell you, I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run. So I'm going to have to lose this um, conservative from Pentecostal. And then keep message in plain view and concentrate. And not just that, learn it by heart. Keep getting it in there. Keep getting it in there. Amen. Keep getting it in there. Amen. Listen here. Amen. That's all. Life easy. Life simple. But it can take some work. Just can take a little bit of work. And like I said, some probably even in here this message. But I'll tell you one thing though. 
But if you could do that, if you don't do nothing else, and just do that, you'll watch your life just skyrocket. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that you've joined us today for this time in God's Word. And we trust that this Word has been a blessing to you. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, dear friend, God loves you. And He wants a relationship with you. He wants you when you pass from this life to be able to go to heaven. So if you're not born again, would you repeat this prayer and mean it from your heart? And Jesus Christ will come into your life and will change you and make you a brand new creation. Just say, O oh God in heaven, I come to you in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus died for my sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again. Right now, I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in his precious blood. I thank you for hearing my prayer, for I pray in Jesus' name. And listen, if you prayed that prayer, please write us or email us. The email address is on the screen and let us know. We'd like to know because we'd like to be praying for you as well as communicate with you. Also, if you enjoyed this broadcast, please subscribe to this channel and please hit that like button and hit also the notification button so that whenever we're on again, you'd be notified. God bless you and have a great day.